putting a weight onto a Ding V12 chandelier. This is the ceiling mount version. You'll need six studs with a dome head and six clear washers to start. So you pop the clear washer over the dome head, turn the wing upside down and pop it through the hole. Put your spacer over the top and up through the hole in the glass. I'm going to take a red fibre washer and a ceiling stud and screw the ceiling stud stud on. Don't do it up too tight. Just let it be loose. Gives you a bit more space. The second stage is very similar, in fact it's the same as the first stage, but a stud and you need a plastic washer, pop it over the stud, spacer and just swing the wing around a bit, pop your spacer in and bring your stud up from underneath. through the glass, red fibre washer, ceiling stud. Again, please. That's the second stage. Okay, the third stage, and bearing in mind this is a side with the pipes, it's a bit trickier just because you haven't got the swing available anymore. So the first thing you do is you take your stud and a spacer, put your spacer in, hold it up and drop your stud through. Like so. And then put your red washer over the top and a ceiling spacer get it engaged to about five no that's fine and then a stud with plastic washer up underneath. I'll take another shot of this from the underside, but when you don't have nut and screw it onto the bolt. And then you have fixed it more or less. So that's the first wing fitted. Fuel pipe side. Okay, flip the chandelier onto its side and tighten these three nuts up. One, two, and a three. Make sure these ceiling studs are secure. Pop it back over again. Check. And they're all tight. Okay, once you've got this side mounted, you need to flip it round. And fixing on this side. Putting the wing to the side with the conduit. Middle first. So I have a stud with a 
clear plastic washer which you pop through the middle mount of the wing pop the spacer over the top and keep these wired under the wing up red fiber washer and screw on your ceiling stud but don't do it up too tight just let it relax a bit and that's your first one and for your second mounting stud same story M8 with the dome head attached pop over your clear plastic washer get your spacer ready swing it round while it's loose pop your spacer in red stud on and then you need your ceiling mount which you just screw on these red fiber washers you can position them when you're happy but keep it loose at this stage okay so you've now got um, five studs mounted Last one is always a tricky one, but take your stud, your spacer, your clear washer and your red washer. Clear, red, done that spacer and a ceiling mount. And pop your spacer in. And then your washer screw your stud into your ceiling mount and put about 5mm in That's fine get your washer your clear plastic washer pop it over the stud and screw on your dome head You'll feel it. So it's engaged. And when it's engaged, you can turn it over. So now it's engaged, just check out where your red fiber washers are. Give it a little bit of tighten up. And now you can turn the entire light over. Remember its side, end on. And now you can tighten these up. So a 14 millimeter spanner, and you can pop in. Just make sure they're engaging properly. You'll feel it. You got the dome head all the way up. with that, give them a final tweak, and give your glass a bit of a clean while you have the opportunity just to get at it.
and now it's really pretty much ready to mount but do the same to the other side your studs should be tight these are tight clean glass there's various types of glass cleaner but they use invisible windows excellent stuff but <laughs> wherever you are in the world you'll have your own version but it's just a good chance to give it a good clean and also recommend that you use a pair of gloves when it comes to mounting it to the ceiling as these studs are what you screw to the ceiling to fix the light okay I hope that's clear if anybody's got any problems please contact me by email turning it over and these studs go in here so when you're mounting it to the ceiling you've still got a bit of movement with this that's why it's not too tight so you can screw this to the ceiling and then take the stud and it'll engage keeping it mounted Okay, I hope that's all clear. Any questions, please email me.